Hello viewers, welcome back. Go on Watch Dogs Legion. It's first time I've got in this game for a while because there's always errors every time I'd load into the campaign or even multiplayer. The only thing I can really do is a benchmark mode, but I'm in I'm in now uh, in the campaign. I'm not gonna do really any missions or anything, I just wanna showcase the performance with ray tracing enabled straight away it's struggling 20 30, 25 fps and it's only on medium so this game is definitely on the demanding side so we're just going to test or at least try each one we're not going to get any better than this so yeah it's just one of them things where this game does look really nice the reflections look really nice as you can see from the puddles um, and the windows look really good unfortunately the performance not so good but it's just for the video anyway so if you're gonna play Watch Dogs you're not gonna have ray tracing enabled unless you can achieve at least 60 frames per second which probably would be able to be achieved at low resolutions uh, even with a 3090 I'd probably they probably struggled to get 60 fps 4k ultra settings and ultra ray tracing so uh, as you can see this is on medium it looks decent let's cross the row that's it thank you very much so we're gonna switch it to the next setting So the VRAM usage shoots up just a little bit, not a great deal, but the frame rates are not going to be good. It might even crash, we'll see. Put it back on, yep, lost a couple of frames with an almost no visual difference in my opinion. It is some good reflections right there, they look really nice. I'm not going to go in the underground. I'm going to showcase daytime. It just remind me of uh, that Matrix Awakens demo, actually. Uh, with similar graphic detail. Obviously, that does look better, but uh, obviously, it's sort of similar location in the city um, with the busy life. So, um, yeah, it does look very similar to me. Obviously, you need, if you've got an AMD graphics card, you're going to play Matrix Awakens tech demo get the 22.4.1 driver otherwise it will work but you probably crash uh, more often than not so if you download that driver it should give you better performance and uh, less errors so but anyway back to this I'm just going to cross the road again because uh, I'm going to stay in the, in the sunshine without getting run over across the road and then I'll I'll change the settings again so we're bordering on uh, below 20 fps now video ultra right so let's see the increase so it's increased uh, a few hundred megabytes in VRAM usage get that back on exactly the same uh, visuals look same, frame rates the same. So if you're going to play, at least uh, with ray tracing, at least put it on ultra. It's the frame rates aren't that different from medium to ultra. So just uh, go all out. I suppose you can play with this frame rate if if you really wanted to, but you're not getting the best experience. You just you get the visual experience. Even then, it's like almost like a slideshow. These reflections are very nice, very nice indeed. Um, I'll change the resolution as well, see what we come up with. Right, careful that door. Um, see if we can get some more frames, I'm sure we will, but I don't know how much. Obviously, I've not really come in testing this before I've made the video, I'll just jump straight on and click record. So, let's have a look. So 
so display let's knock it down to 1440p yes so it's knocked a few hundred megabytes after the VRAM usage hopefully it doesn't crash which is highly likely okay so I jumped straight back in obviously I changed the resolution it crashed the game kind of thought that would happen jinxed it I suppose so we're at 1440p this is at medium ray trace settings the performance has doubled which is to be expected with the resolution change still looks really nice obviously you can see the detail has dropped but this is a, a playable experience it's um, definitely an option to take if you got a ray traced capable graphics card like this one albeit not a very good ray tracing graphics card I'm not ashamed to say that I've not bought this graphics card for ray tracing um, if I'm going to if I had ray tracing in mind I would have chosen Nvidia 100% let's just run down here for a bit so the performance 40 to 50 fps which is very playable for me don't know about you but it feels smooth the frame times are good all is well so if we up the notch a little bit see what impact it has so it's a high look so it's knocked off five frames with no visual changes in my opinion I beg your pardon he just told me to get effed well you must be an Nvidia fan this is a game I've not really played much it's probably worth jumping into more often just to see um, obviously for benchmarks for one it's got a really nice benchmark tool graphics are really good um, it's a shame I know it's a completely different game but I'd rather use Battlefield 5 as a the ray tracing game on Rotterdam I just think it looks gorgeous but over time the drivers for it from AMD have just gone down so far downhill that it's not even worth using it at all for ray tracing look at those reflections really good really nice Let's try Ultra now. So it's knocked off a couple of frames. Definitely nice, but all in all, not a big drop from medium to ultra. So if I'm going to play at 1440p with ray tracing, just keep it on ultra. And then uh, that's a nice car. I may as well drive around a little bit. Can I nick it? Yes. Is the passenger still in? I'm moving the wrong way. Try and drive properly. It's a nice car though, isn't it? I like it. I'm probably going to get copyrighted now with this music in the car. Fingers crossed I don't. What's this? something I don't know it's, again I don't play this game much so I might have to start playing it more for benchmarking let me know what you think about that uh, I definitely do like the look of this game gameplay wise some I've not really explored so I'll probably understand the game a little bit better just so I can obviously do a mission play multiplayer instead of just free roaming about obviously it's like Grand Theft Auto or in fact, it reminds me of that really old PS2 game, not with ray tracing, obviously the Getaway. I love that game when that was uh, when that was out. It's such a advanced game, like you just free roam everywhere. Really good. So um, yeah, this is a, just a quick test on the ray tracing capabilities on this graphics card with all the settings turned up to max at 1440p on 4K. Just having a quick look on the left hand side at the metrics. Obviously everything's maxed out, 15 gigabytes of RAM I own. Uh, CPU is working quite hard and then the graphics card is working pretty much full tilt as well but no overclocking is enabled at this moment in time so if I did do some overclocking it would be interesting to 
get a more consistent comparison on the benchmark tool and then you can probably see if it actually makes a difference actually that's actually a good idea for a future video coming soon I'll do just that I'll overclock the graphics card not the CPU it's some re for some reason it does overclock the CPU automatically so uh, I'll uh, try and make sure that's off but either way it doesn't really matter but I'll definitely overclock the graphics card a little bit and then do some benchmarks so I'll uh, do just that let me know what you think about this video any settings I could change or any suggestions even the drivers I suppose obviously each driver is different some perform well some don't uh, that would be an interesting one to know about obviously if you play Battlefield 5 with this graphics card the best driver to use for ray tracing is 22, uh, sorry, 21.3.1 or lower anything after that is no good uh, so it could be the same with this in terms of performance it could be a certain driver that gives GBB you a couple extra frames so let me know, thank you very much